Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shop with me and DIY home decorating videos. And today is a 2023 spring home decor refresh using a ton of the 2023 Target spring home decor. I shared a huge Target haul just a few weeks ago. If you missed it, I'll have it linked down below. But I will try to link a lot of the items that I'm using in today's video. We're gonna be redecorating and refreshing inside and outdoor spaces. We're also gonna be doing some DIYs, like some painting and some cleaning, lots of packing up to to do we are getting ready to have our baby in three weeks or less which is absolutely crazy we have a little bit of cleaning involved so lots of refreshing around here if you need some motivation or are looking for some spring decorating inspiration this is the video for you if you're excited be sure to give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell without further ado we have lots of spaces to tackle so let's get started Alrighty, so we are gonna start upstairs and work our way down. We're starting with painting. This was the last big painting project we needed to tackle before we start working on the nursery. So this is it, the final countdown. I know that you are all just as excited as we are to work on the nursery and I'm really excited to share the nursery with you. I will be doing a nursery haul as well as the nursery transformation. So kind of showing what I got for the nursery and then the next day showing the nursery transformation and that will be coming up in probably like three ish weeks. I'm really, really excited. You can actually see the nursery at the end of the hallway. We haven't done absolutely anything to it yet. But for painting, we do take the time to do all of the prep work, so taping everything off, taking off all of the plate covers, and we always put paper down. It's just, it will save you in the long run if you happen to have any spills. Just like the rest of our house, we are painting with the color Greek Villa by Sherwin-Williams. It is the absolute perfect white. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It reads really well no matter what lighting you get in the different areas of your home. Please take a second to give Brian some love down in the comments. He worked so hard on this. I feel like painting is more my thing. This whole hallway is just like a very like detail oriented space with tons of cutting in, which is normally my job if you have seen any of our other videos where we show the painting process. But the hallway is really narrow and it was kind of hard to get any good circulation or ventilation in the room. So we didn't want me painting or kind of helping out in this particular space. You will see this color again in the nursery, but we do have some really, really fun plans that I think you guys are absolutely going to love so if you're not subscribed be sure you subscribe so you can see our nursery transformation it is probably going to be our favorite room in the entire house and I think you guys are going to love it too. You can actually see it at the end of the hall right there. We have not done absolutely anything in this space yet. We wanted to get this painting done, get this spring home decor refresh, and then we are waiting on some special things to finally be able to get the room started. But we have officially checked off all of the projects we wanted to check off before we started working on the nursery. So it is officially go time. Never meant to love no one. But baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days Never meant to fall so hard After several coats, cut-ins, and hours, we are officially done painting this hallway. You can already see how bright it is, and this is at night, and now this next shot is the next day. Look how much brighter this hallway is, and now the only thing left to do is the most satisfying part, which is peel off all of the blue painter's tape. In this shot right here, you can also see the guest bathroom, which is the baby's bathroom. We haven't done anything in any of the three bathrooms in this home. I've chatted about this before, but in case you're new, we are in kind of like a rent to own situation where we will have the opportunity to buy our home at the end of our lease, which is ending in the spring of 2024. But we are not sure if this home is the right one for our growing family. I'll definitely talk about this more in the future, but just kind of wanted to let you know what the plan is with that as of right now. I've chatted about it a little bit more on my Instagram, how we're thinking about building a home, but like I said, more on that later. This is the laundry room. It's another space we have not done absolutely anything to. Please don't mind my obscene amount of laundry detergent. 
I found a really good sale and decided to stock up. I did just purchase this from the Target Dollar Spot. I searched so long and hard for this. It is a glass like washing machine canister. How adorable for laundry pods. Right now I'm just using this like OXO container which is probably better suited for spaghetti. So when I finally found this I knew I had to pick it up. I just can't take it. Like is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? Also from the Dollar Spot I picked up this stains piece of wall decor it's so cool it has like all these different things and how to get the stains out i just thought this was such an awesome dollar spot find for five dollars just all the different things and all the little remedies to get them out and then also this laundry sign which just has all the different symbols you may see on your clothing or your washing machine and what those mean. I just thought these would be perfect to grab. We don't really want to do anything else in here until we know for sure what our plan is, if we're going to buy the house. But until then, I thought these were super affordable and honestly just a really helpful tool to have around. Another helpful tool is my blue tape trick to perfectly hang things on the first try every time. You just grab a piece of blue tape put it over where you would hang the item so you can puncture a hole, put the tape on the wall, level that out, and unfortunately I had to call in reinforcements because my bump was pressing so hard up against the washing machine just because my bump is getting so large. So thanks again to Brian. He was such a help in this video. Hold it back, I let it show all my feelings. Are you thinking about me too tonight? Let the music play like a drug I am hooked on you The last thing I wanted to do up here was just change out these picks that I got from Target I had these eucalyptus stems from Hearth and Hand, and I just really love the new Geisophilia stems. I think that's how you say it. Closing the baby's door and heading downstairs. I'll be doing a ton of little home decor refreshes down here using all of my new Target decor that I bought from the new Spring line. The first thing being with these green decorative boxes. I am just so in love with these. One of you guys actually left a message on my video saying that you picked up either the small box or the large box for your entryway table, and it was the perfect place to keep like your sunglasses and your keys that is such a good tip so I wanted to share that with you so thank you to whoever left that comment I just wanted to add something to the middle because we used to have the sound bar there and we ended up hanging that so I had that empty space and decided to use these green boxes to fill it and add a little bit of color to the living room another project that I put off or actually honestly I forgot about it when I was doing my Christmas undecorate with me was that I needed to take out the prints from Christmas and I decided to just put back the prints I had from before I I love going on Etsy and picking out new wall art and then changing it out in these Ikea frames. This is such an affordable decor hack and you can change out the artwork as frequently as you want. I just really liked the line abstract artwork that I had from before so I decided to put that back but I did put the Christmas prints behind it in case I want to reuse those again next year. They're right there for me to have access to. Now it's time to move on to this disaster of an area. This is our breakfast nook area. It's just kind of like a catch-all as you can see. Did you see the car seat? I did put that back after I finished filming this. Obviously, I need to have that ready to go. So we have it right next to the door. It's really easy to install. It takes like literally less than 10 seconds. So I went ahead and cleared off the table. And then this is a new table runner from Hearth and Hand. It's an oversized table runner. You can get this in store or online. And I just love the cool toned beige color of it. I think it goes so well with the coloring of this entire space. And decided to add this new faux plant from hearth and hand as well this was another thing we completely forgot to take down in our christmas undecorate with me brian was home so i asked him if he could please just take off his shoes hop up and finally take this down because if not i seriously think it may have ended up there until next christmas I couldn't be more excited to share my newest cleaning tool with you. You guys know I've been on like a cleaning journey and this is an absolute must have, especially for someone like me who's a pet owner and about to bring a new baby into the home. This is the Dreamy Tech H12 Pro Wet Dry Vacuum. It has dual edge cleaning to get super up and close into the baseboards. And like I mentioned, it is wet and dry. And when I say that, I mean it, it leaves your floors completely dry. There is no water 
residue left over it also can clean up wet and dry at the same time so a little bit extra here but I did pour milk and cereal on the floor to show you how it effortlessly blasts through these messes by wiping your floors 520 times per minute the h12 pro has a lot of other really cool features one that I love is the smart dirt detection so that's a sensor on the inside that adjusts the suction based on the mess that it detects it's really easy to maneuver around and I love the LED screen as well that tells you how charged it is and easily kind of flows you through the different settings on the vacuum depending on what kind of mess you are cleaning up it was really easy for me to clean under the table and I know that this vacuum is going to be such a lifesaver when we start introducing solids to our daughter which will be here before we know it you guys know I always like to keep it real around here when I was vacuuming the whole house I did happen to find this half dried pet accident and I just wanted to show you how easily it cleaned this up I didn't want to leave this in but Brian was like you got to show it for the pet owners keep it real so this one is for you once I was completely done I went ahead and popped it back onto the charging base and this automatically started the self cleaning feature and the hot air drying feature and it does tell you what percentage is done in about an hour and a half you have a completely clean and dry brush head that is ready for your next use I even decided to grab a white paper towel to show you that there's no moisture and absolutely no dirt left on the cleaning brush for more information and to get an h12 pro for yourself click the link in my description down below and use my promo code to save some money Since the moment I took down my Christmas decor, I have been impatiently awaiting until I can decorate this shelf again. To me, it is just the cutest little shelf, and I decorated it with a ton of new finds from the Hearth and Hand line at Target, like these little pot holders, one of my copies of the Magnolia table. I have both volumes. And then I also wanted to add in some different colors, textures, and things that just fit the space. So a little olive oil bottle, a jar filled with coffee beans as our entire coffee station is behind us, and then mixing in a ton of different textures with different greeneries both of these are also from the hearth and hand collection just little items some that I had from before and some new items I think that this came out so adorable and there's so many different ways that you can configure it you can add an apron you can give and take some items maybe put a towel so many fun ways you can decorate this and I'm excited to see how potentially I'll decorate it for Easter because I know it will be a very seasonally decorated shelf but this is what I came up with for my spring decor refresh I grabbed these little cheese markers from the Target dollar spot I think last year and I ended up finding them in the garage and that is how I decorated my shelf I've gotten a ton of questions about my favorite way to store pillows. My favorite way personally is in these space saving bags. I grabbed this three pack from Target, but you can get them on Amazon as well. All you have to do is stuff them into the fill line, just kind of follow the markers on the bag. And then all you have to do is take your vacuum and suck the air out of the bags and it shrinks them down where you can store them in a closet or under a bed if you're looking for other places to store them. So many different places that you can stick these we just put them in the back of our under the stairs closet but it just shrinks them down kind of gets them out of the way and I think it's a much more efficient way to store them than in totes
While I don't buy or collect Ray Dunn anymore, I do have a bit of a sentimental attachment to some of my holiday items, like my Christmas items, and I have some Easter items that I'm just like not ready to get rid of. So we decided to just pack them away in this extra box that we have. I just think they'll be fun to have for the kids, like the really themed canisters. If you have been here since the beginning beginning, you will probably remember my Ray Dunn hunting videos where I would go to literally like 15 Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls in one day trying to hunt down Ray Dunn when it was absolutely impossible to find. Now my stores are overflowing with it, so it's just funny to see how times have changed. But if you've been here since then, you are a true Katie Vining OG, and I'm sending you all my love. Another area that quickly became a catch-all disaster area is our dining room. We have a lot of friends and friends of friends who have recently had babies and passed on items that they were not able to use for one reason or another to us. So we've collected lots of different types of diapers and wipes, which we're really grateful to have because we don't know what's going to work for us and for our baby. It truly does take a village and we've just had so many friends who have been so gracious to drop off items on our front porch. And now we have so many different things we are able to try out and test out for us and our baby and anything that we don't use that doesn't work for us we will definitely be passing on to anyone else who needs it save the best area for last we are headed outside for a front patio refresh this area is completely bare because once i took all the christmas decor down i didn't put anything back i got all the new items from Target from their new outdoor spring line. It is so amazing. If you missed it, I actually posted a full Target outdoor spring shop shop with me earlier this week and I will have it linked down below. This patio set that I'm cleaning down right here is from the Studio McGee collection last year and there are tons of new beautiful collections this year. I was really excited to just refresh this area. It's the area you see when you drive past our home. So I always like it to have it really fresh and welcoming. I picked up these sage pillows. These are outdoor sage pillows. They do have removable covers. Love, love, love the color of these. You're going to see this a lot in this transformation as well as in a future transformation that's coming up. Hint, hint, wink, wink. I think you all know what I am talking about. For this basket, I just put out two outdoor decorations that we had from last year. I think I may pick up some new items, but I just kind of wanted to use up the stuff that I have for now until I find some newer items that I absolutely love love and then of course like the old italian grandma that lives inside of me i had to give my front porch a really rigorous sweeping I needed a brand new welcome mat as well as an accent rug. These are both from new collections this year and I will have these and everything else that I am showing linked down below. I love the oval shape of the welcome mat. I've never had a welcome mat this shape. I think it is really unique. And then look at this planter. I couldn't be more obsessed with it. It is new from Studio McGee. It is actually not ceramic. It looks like a big stone planter, but it's actually plastic. I just needed to get a new new planter for this rubber tree because this poor tree falls over all the time so I wanted to give it a new bigger home that it can grow into and I just think it goes so perfectly with the entire vibe of the front patio and it looks so expensive I just couldn't be more obsessed I don't know how or oh how you do it you blow my mind without a word oh stuck upside down I might be dreaming, there's no way back now. With a little bit of love and elbow grease and a few new home accents combined with all the items I already had, I was able to completely transform my front patio. I love the way that this came out and how all the colors blend together. Well, alrighty, you guys, there you have it. My 2023 spring home decor refresh featuring a ton of spring home decor that is brand new from Target. Be sure to let me know where was your favorite area I refreshed down below. Do you like the front patio? Did you enjoy the butler's pantry shelf? All the areas in between. Our house just needed like a good solid refresh before the baby gets here, and that is exactly what I was trying to provide today. I hope you were able to take some decorating inspiration. Thank you so much to Dreamy. If you are interested in the H12 Pro, I'll have all the information linked down below. 
well. It's going to be the perfect tool for us to tackle all of the messes that are surely to come with the baby just coming in a few short weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.